Welcome to the data metaphor space. Who is the current Queen of England? If you know the Queen of England, you probably know that she's also the Queen of Scotland. So that makes her the Queen of England and Scotland, the Queen of all of the United Kingdom, Queen of Wales, and the Queen of France. But is she the Queen of Spain? Also, is she the Queen of Canada? Queen of Japan? Queen of the Caribbean? The Queen of the British Empire? The current Queen of England is Elizabeth II. The only living sovereign monarch of the United Kingdom Elizabeth ascended the throne in 1952 upon the death of her father. George VI Elizabeth was born on April 21, 1926, in London, the eldest child of the Duke and Duchess of York, later King George VI and Queen Elizabeth, and the Princess Elizabeth, later Queen Elizabeth II, early life. Elizabeth was born at 11.15 a.m. on April 21, 1926, at the London Hospital, where her mother was admitted in labor her birth was premature, and Elizabeth was kept in the hospital for the first month of her life. She was not permitted to be left alone, and, from her birth until she was four years old, Elizabeth was cared for by nurses and a succession of nannies. At the age of four, Elizabeth was enrolled in the private nursery school run by Edith Hicks at the palace, and she was given a strict and formal education. As the eldest daughter of the Duke and Duchess of York, Elizabeth was entitled to use the style, Royal Highness, and Royalty, but she was also called Elizabeth by her family and friends. The Duke of York, later King George VI, named Elizabeth as his successor to the throne. You might say you like being Queen of England, but does it bring you happiness? It is probably more like a nightmare than a dream you might say that being the Queen is a burden, but is it really a burden or a blessing? It is something you have to live with, and you have to accept it if you have not accepted it, you are not the Queen. I was sitting on the train coming back from London on Tuesday, after the Queen had returned from her trip to the States, and I was thinking about the Queen and how she must feel about being the Queen. I was also thinking about how she has to live with her life I wondered if she had thought about the fact that she would have to live with the consequences of her actions. I wondered if she had ever thought about the impact her life would have on her subjects, and on the country she is queen of I thought about how many people would love to be the queen, but she is the only one who gets to be queen. I wonder if the queen has ever thought about the fact that she is the queen of England, and the queen of the United Kingdom, and the queen of the Commonwealth, and the queen of Scotland, and the queen of Ireland, and the queen of the United States of America. She is queen of the entire world it is amazing how she is queen of all of those countries. She is queen of the world, and she is also the queen of the country she is queen of she is the queen of England I am not sure if she knows that she is the queen of England, and I am not sure if she cares. She has a lot on her mind she has to think about her job as the Queen of England she has to think about her life as the Queen of England she has to think about how. If you are the Queen of England, what is the most happy thing for you? You might say you like being Queen of England, but does it bring you happiness? It is probably more like a nightmare than a dream you might say that being the Queen is a burden, but is it really a burden or a blessing? It is something you have to live with and you have to accept it if you have not accepted it, you are not the Queen. I was sitting on the train coming back from London on Tuesday, after the Queen had returned from her trip to the States, 
and I was thinking about the queen and how she must feel about being the queen I wondered if she had thought about the fact that she would have to live with the consequences of her actions I thought about how many people would love to be the queen. But she is the only one who gets to be queen she is the queen of England she has to think about her job as the queen of England she has to think about how. I was also thinking about how she has to live with her life. I wondered if she had ever thought about the impact her life would have on her subjects, and on the country she is queen of. She is queen of the world. And she is also the queen of the country she is queen of. I am not sure if she knows that she is the queen of England, and I am not sure if she cares she has a lot on her mind. She has to think about her life as the Queen of England. The answer might be a bit more obvious than you think. I've been watching the movie Elizabeth and the classifications of happy and unhappy have always stuck with me. I thought about this a lot when I was thinking about my mother and grandmother I've often wondered what it must have been like to be the Queen of England during their time, and whether they were ever really happy. My grandmother who died when I was a teenager, was also a woman who never seemed to complain she was happy in her own little way she didn't have many friends, but she did love her family and had an incredible sense of humor. She enjoyed going to church and reading her Bible she was a loving, giving person who was always doing something she loved her family and friends, and to my knowledge, she never had a boyfriend. It was as if my mother and grandmother had a quiet happiness in their lives that I've always wondered about I never heard them complain about anything, and I never heard them say they were unhappy. If you are the Queen of England, what is the most disappointing thing for you? The Queen says, when you look back over the years, one of the things I am most proud of is the support we have always received from the people of the Commonwealth. We've never had any shortage of friends we are lucky to have a community of nations that has stood by us and supported us in our time of need. The Queen said. The most disappointing thing for me would be to see the Prince of Wales become King, because I've been the Princess of Wales for 30 years, I'm a very, very proud princess, so I would feel a bit let down. How did you feel about the death of Princess Diana? I think I was just in shock, and I'm not one to cry at anything, but I just remember her just as a mother, because she was a very lovely person, and a lovely mother. And when I lost my mum I just remember her as the woman she was, and she was very, very lovely and she was just an amazing person. If you could say anything to the young princess, what would you say? I think I would say, don't worry, because it's going to be alright, because you've got a lot of support.